Mm. All right, guys. So today we're going to be doing a simple battery replacement in this Toyota key fob. It's going to be a similar process that you can follow basically on any key fob or uh, wireless remote. This particular one is from my 2007 Toyota Prius. And as you can see, uh, usually there's a little bit of a LED indicator. So if I press the button, you should see a little bit of a red light somewhere in this particular car. I'll just point out to it. It should be right here. As I press it, there's nothing. So you know that the, either the key fob is dead or the battery is dead. More or less, the battery will always be uh, low. So the first thing to do when you got your key fob is you want to take out the actual key. Here we have this little mechanism right here. Just slide it and the key should come out. Here we have uh, the key. Set it aside. You don't need it for this time being. Uh, next thing is you got to disassemble this top cover from the Toyota key fob. The way this is done is you have to actually once again slide this little spring on top which was the key retainer. Uh, slide it in and with your thumb simply just press up in this way and it should slide off the cover. So we're going to see me do it. I'm going to do it like this in one motion. And here we go. So you can see now it's sliding and you've removed the top cover what we see exposed under, under there are four little uh, Phillips head screws. Uh, we're going to remove the screws and the battery will come out uh, right behind there. Okay, so now we're going to actually remove the four little screws. Get yourself a very good precision screwdriver. You don't want to have to strip anything. They're fairly short. I already did one. Let's go to number two. Here we go. Number two. On uh, number three. In terms of the battery that these remotes use, you could pick them up at basically any uh, sh any supermarket or any type of pharmacy. Obviously, you could also get it from your dealer. Uh, this particular one is the the model name is the 2032. Now, in terms of the brand, doesn't matter. I'm going to be using Energizer. Two of these cost me uh, a little bit less than five bucks, but they have to be the 2032 size to fit into this key fob. I'm going to take this little flathead screwdriver, lift up the battery cover. Okay, so now we have the battery. Basically just going to give it a little bit of a, a jolt like this. Usually it'll come out. Here we go. We took it out, just set it to the side. Okay, so there's no kind of uh, acid leaks inside, nothing looks bad. I'm going to take one of these batteries from here. Once again, the model number is 2032. You can see right there, guys, 2032. These batteries last uh, generally for about five years. The last time I replaced the battery uh, in this key fob was around five years ago. So this is what it looks like. The positive side up, is this is the way you're going to be inserting it into the key fob. So you're going to watch me do it. Just basically slide it in and it'll self-locate. Here we go. So it's basically inside there's a little bit of this wedge right over here and it holds the battery in place. Okay, so now we're going to do the reverse of the, of the process. We're going to attach back the cover, screw in all the screws and give it a little bit of a test to see if the light goes on. So we got the second one in. We're going to do the third one right now. They're pretty small, so be careful with them. These key fobs are nearly a fortune if you have to get one programmed over to your car. So do your best. Okay, so it's in. It's snug. Everything is good. We're going to put back the face cover. Basically just slide it in like so. And at the end, you can tell it doesn't click. We're going to once again press in this mechanism and put it all the way back. Put your key back. All right. The key is back. It's all clipped in. And we're just going to check to see what the little LED light over here is going to go on. So you could see that it is red now. It is active. And we know that this repair did fix the key fob and you have no serious issues.